What's going on, Savages? Thanks for tapping in with your boy again. It's much love, much respect to all you guys. So, man, these last two videos have been straight bangers, straight uh, straight fire, man. I appreciate the response that I got from y'all. I appreciate y'all really tapping in with your boy. You know what I mean? These been some cuckoo-ass stories. Seems that everyone likes these nightmare Sally stories. Um, so I got a gang more coming. I got some crazy, crazy, crazy info regarding that uh, Jamie Osuna uh, video that I did. The dude who beheaded his Sally, chopped him up, tortured him, mutilated his body. I got the actual picture that a CO took with his cell phone upon walking up to that cell. The picture, I can't put it on YouTube. Trust and believe I can't. My channel will be terminated, abominated, exterminated, and all that. You want to see the picture? Follow your boy at Instagram. We underscore savage. We as in W3 underscore savage with the three at the end. No E. I'll place it on this video. You'll see it somewhere on the screen. I shouldn't even bother to even tell you guys because it's going to be right here for you to see. Follow me on Instagram. Send me a DM. I'll send you a copy of this picture. Warning. Forewarn. If you don't want to see something of this nature, don't ask for it because this picture is, is is pretty raw, man. This this dude really went to town on his celly, you know, and, it, and it's, it's crazy because it's like, now, you know, I, I share this with some of my family members, you know, because they I'm always like uh, intense. Uh, I've been on edge uh, from time to time. You know, I'm, maybe I'm hard to relate to. Maybe I'm hell. Maybe even sometimes I could be unlikable with how I am, you know, my anger or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's like this is the kind of stuff that we had to accept as our possible reality. This could have happened to us. So when you see this picture, man, follow me on Instagram. I'll send you a copy of this picture. I'm sure you'll be able to see, see the kind of uh, the level of madness that one must accept. Every person has to accept the fact that this could happen or someone could try this on them. That's doing time in the pen. Anyways, that's not the topic of today's video. How many of y'all seen Boys in the Hood? Classic, right? Boys in the Hood grew up on that one. So many of us grew up on that one. Such a powerful message, great acting. It just was a good overall movie. I want to say directed by Spike Lee. Just a great movie. One of the actors, the one specifically that kills Ricky, when 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 uh, Ricky and uh, uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. are in that alley and they're running, and oh boy, uh, uh, I can't I, I can't remember his name, man. It wasn't Turbo, I don't think. I can't remember. But they got remember that red car? It was in that red car. They had pulled up on him and he had the gun out. And he was like Mark. Well, old boy who ends up smoking him in that alley who leans out the window with the shoddy, he'll, his picture's in the thumbnail. He actually, uh, after that movie, went on to pursue an, act, pursue an acting career. However, he also went on to pursue a gangbanging career. So he moved from his nice middle class house or whatever to the jungles and ended up getting put onto the hood. Fast forward 2005 or so, he ends up going to prison for a double homicide for the rest of his life because he chose, because he wanted to be cool. He wanted to be with the hood. He wanted to be with the homies. He couldn't, he had an itch for that life. Ended up in Pelican Bay State Prison. So I did a lot of digging on this, a lot. His celly kills him. His cell, he strangles him, beats him to death, strangles him, uses his own blood, right? Uses his own blood. I got some of this stuff right here. Uses his own blood to draw a pentagram on the floor and lays out his whole body and proceeds to perform a satanic ritual over uh, Lloyd Avery's body. Lloyd Avery's old boy who from Boys in the Hood. So... Where it gets even more, um, I want to say, the reason why this story is kind of similar is because you think about it. There's so many cases where this stuff, is, this crazy stuff is happening. But when you look back, it's like they should have never been cellies to begin with. How are these guys being forced to have cellies? <clears throat> so, there was an interview on YouTube somewhere. Um, I, I saw it. And it's not an actual you know, video interview, it's, it's kind of like recorded audio, but he's talking to some dude who was with Lloyd Avery 
and in the county jail before Lloyd Avery ended up going to the pen or whatever. And he was saying that he, himself uh, had ended up becoming Christian and giving his life to the Lord while he was in county jail. So he says that alongside with him, uh, Lloyd Avery had did the same thing because he has referred he refers to him as a brother in Christ that he had turned his life over to God. So meanwhile, this is happening. You got his name is uh, uh, Kevin Roby spelled K, you know, Kevin spelled R-O-B-Y. So I don't know if it's Robbie or Roby. I can't find a picture of this guy, a mugshot. I can't find nothing of this dude. So if any of y'all out there can get your hands on it, send it my way. I want to see what he looks like, man. I'm interested. So meanwhile, this is happening. Kevin is over here. He's been single cell status forever. He's, he doesn't get along with Christian cellies. He don't want a Christian cellmate. So what do they do? They throw Lloyd Avery in the cell with him. He's thinking, I'm walking with God. I'm safe. I'm walking with God. I'm going into the cell. God's got my back. I'm in Pelican Bay State Prison. I'm just going to tell my celly straight up, I'm riding with God now, bro. I don't bang or, you know, whatever the case it may have been. His celly was not the right person to say that to, to tell that to. And what ended up happening is he ended up getting strangled. He ended up getting his own blood to make the pentagram. And he got sprawled out. Now, we're going to give some fun facts here. Because on that Jamie Osuna case, I might make a part two. Because guess what? It was a setup. I got inside information that it was a setup. Somebody pissed off the COs. And this is a classic thing that happens in the pen. Oh, they get mad. So they do these little cell packs. Because they know that they put you with a janky ass Sally who's going to do some. That's their form of getting justice. Because... You know, you pissed them off. So I might. There's some crazy info for that Jamie Osuna case. I'm not going to let it go just yet. But I just want you guys to know. That cell move should have never happened. And they should have heard him screaming. I was in those cells. I was in Corcoran's shoe. I know the dynamic. You will be heard. If you're screaming for your life. Trust me, he's screaming for his life. He's getting his throat, his head cut off. He's screaming. Anyways. Back to Lloyd Avery. Sorry to dance around and skip to this one to that one. Uh, okay, so they're saying it seemed like gross negligence in the Pelican Bay one with Lloyd Avery as well, because they're saying it's like a, it's there's so many counts. There's eleven counts, including a standing count. A standing count is is a count where you actually have to get off your bunk and stand up, so they know you're alive. So they know you ain't dead. <laughs> and I don't know how he passed that one. I don't know how a dead body was able to make it through a standing count. That's got to be the most ironic situation popping off right there. So, and he was a high profile inmate too. That's that's one thing that should be said. Any actor or anybody that's ever been in a movie, you know, they, they are considered, you know, to a certain extent, more of a high profile inmate than the other inmate. So, let's see. So the whole time after this, Kevin Roby, the killer, actually petitions the court and tries to file a lawsuit on them for giving him Christian a Christian celly because he would warn them and tell them, I don't do Christian cellies. I'm a Satanist. I'm all for this. He probably had even told him, I will kill a Christian man. You see, in prison, this happens a lot. You know, there's always a like a, you know, there, there's always like a dialogue where like, don't you better not put him in my cell. You better not put that chomo. Better not put the chomo in my cell because if you put a chomo in my cell, I'm gonna do this. That happens often, you know, especially when there's a situation with like COs going back and forth with inmates. COs don't. They fight so dirty to the point where that's what they do. Oh, I'm gonna throw this person in your cell. Oh, I'm gonna put you in this cell. Oh, you want to sell up with him? You want to sell up with him? It's such a deadly and lethal outcome every single time. When they do stuff like that. But the thing that you don't hear. You hear about the death. You hear about the killer. But the thing you don't hear. Is about the gross negligence. Right? The the cruel negligence. Right? It's almost so negligent to the point. Where it's an attack. It's it's an attack on. on it's, it's, a, it's a crime. It should be late. It should be a crime man. It should be. Trust me. I seen the pictures. Of this other dude man. And. 
wow, man, that's all I got to say. There's no way in hell that someone didn't hear him. You know what I mean? I got information saying that there was a dude actually on the phone when this was ha when uh when before they sold him up and the CEO had told him, hey, I hope you're ready for that. I got that special selly for you. Don't bitch up. So he was telling Jay. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's Jaime or Jamie, the way it was spelled, I thought it was Jamie, whatever the case is, he's telling the killer, basically, hey, maybe there was a dialogue that uh, Jamie told him, hey, I'll kill whoever you put in my cell, bam, he okay to move, and just, you know, threw it out there like a dumbass, so that's the situation that he got himself wrapped up in, with Lloyd Avery, it's more, it's, it's more of a sad case. You could say it's justice for the two people he killed. And I don't know what you guys think. I don't know if y'all think that this is justice for him taking two lives and that, you know, he deserved to die that way. But no matter what you say, nobody deserves to die in a prison cell sprawled out over a pentagram, especially not if they've given their life over to the Lord. However, prison is the devil's playground. He cares nothing for the Lord. Nothing. Now, is there Christians in prison? Of course. Uh, are 85 to 90% of them false Christians? Of course. But there is real people in there who really do stand firm and have each other's back as well. But they do not thrive in the devil's playground. Who participates in the devil's playground? COs, the, the, the uh, captains, lieutenants, the wardens, the inmates, all of them. Pretty much every CO you are going to see is a gun, trigger happy. Uh, they're all like the same. They got their own stereotype. They come to work. You know, they, they already don't like inmates. Corcoran, of course, would do that because they had the worst COs in Corcoran. They, they were the worst of the worst since back in the 90s up till now. These guys are, are, are sick with it. You know, I remember we even being on the yard, on B yard, on the level four, we'd come walking early in the morning to go to breakfast to the chow hall and back. And there would be like a draft in the wind and they would spray their pepper spray along in the wind, just little spurts of it because it would catch us downwind. And then all of us would be like coughing and they'd be laughing about things like that. See, that's the kind of sadistic nature that they have. So you cannot rile people up in a cage, compile them in a cage and expect them not to do this. So dude ended up, I don't know about y'all, man, but the story kind of blew me away. I didn't, I, 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 who doesn't remember Boys in the Hood, man? Boys in the Hood was the movie. I didn't know dude was really even banging. I didn't know he was in Pelican Bay. And I damn sure didn't know he was strangled to death. And his celly performed a satanic ritual. What the hell's going on with these damn Satanists going into prison? Now, look, I had a couple homies. Uh, one of my homies, G from Stockton, he had came from Pelican Bay. A few homies that were Satanists. And they were all into that stuff. And it was, I had one homie who, uh, he actually, uh, he liked to kill like a uh, uh, like little animals to perform little rituals and stuff like little you know gophers or whatever. I don't agree with that stuff. Is it necessarily bad paperwork? No, but in my eyes, like that shit, that shit is weird, man. Like that shit, you ain't. I don't know, man. I can't mess with you if that's how you get down, man. Because that's some dark shit right there. And I, I've seen homies have cells where they wax like pentagrams into them and. Nah, man, I can't do that. So, man, take these videos, man. I, I need y'all to take these videos. If you ever go to prison, two things need to be on your checklist. Well, a few things do, but this is about survival. If he's doing life and he's a devil worshiper, bro, y'all need to just shake hands. Hey, dog, I'm going to go ahead and see if I could, you know, find another celly and move out or move him out. One of the two. Do not spend a single day. And if you go to the shoe and you see somebody, you walk up to the cell and he got a pentagram anywhere tattooed on him. Don't go in that cell unless you're trying to kill him. Don't go in there with him. Don't go in. And he says, oh, I'm doing life. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Take him down. <laughs> take his ass down because he going to take you down. He going to get you drunk. He going to get you Seroquilled out. He going to catch you while you're sleeping and bash the TV over you. He ain't going to get you the fairway. Hope y'all like this story, man. I don't know if y'all knew about Boys in the Hood, man. Just another crazy ass cell nightmare, celly nightmare to have to endure, man. This is bad enough to pull up to Pelican Bay State Prison. Trust me, I know. It's not a good feeling. You pull up. What do you hear? Oh, you're going to this cell? Boom. You meet your celly. He seems a little off. Dude's diagnosed with the dude who killed Lloyd Avery was diagnosed with schizophrenia. 
So, you know, his introduction is he's already kind of shifty. His energy's finicky. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not right. So when you shake his hand, hey, what's up, G? They call me, they call me this and that. What they call you? Oh, oh, they call me, da, 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 you mean I did it? Uh, you probably see that. This dude sells hand tracings of his hand. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he could tell in the first four minutes or so that the dude had pentagrams and stuff around the cell. So he probably was, his brainiac idea was like, oh, I'll try to save him or convert him. Okay, well, hey, brother, I'm a Christian. You know, I believe in God. That's a hell of a day one in Pelican Bay State Prison. He was already doing life for two homicides. I would have killed that. Oh, you a devil worshiper? Well, in the name of Christ, I compel you. Get your ass over here. Nah, but for real, though, y'all, for real, man. The crazy part is they didn't even, they were reluctant to even press charges on, on Kevin Robbie because... He was already doing life sentences. It's almost like, man, you you could do what you want to do then. If you ain't going to press charges on him just because he's doing all day life, how many lifers would be in there killing? God damn. This is the justice system for you. Did they press charges? Maybe. I don't know. I haven't found a mugshot. Try to find that mugshot. Like I said, y'all, hey, smash that like button too, man. Come on. I, I brought you two stories in one day. Look. If you don't like me asking you to smash the button, like button, then don't smash the like button. I just I just simply throw it out there because it does help me. It helps the video, helps the shit get around in rotation. So why not hit it? If you don't want to hit it, it's not a big fucking deal. Don't cry about it on my comment section. If you ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. I'm getting subscribers blowing through the roof, man. So I just want to say I'm blessed. I want to say thank, thank you to all of y'all, man. I could not be here. I could not be doing this without, without all y'all. I ain't no celebrity. I ain't famous. But damn, y'all sure helping me get there. Anyways, head over to my Instagram so I can show you that picture, but you must follow and send a DM, and I'll let you see that crazy-ass picture directly from the CO's phone who walked up to that cell and saw what he saw. You will not be able to unsee this image, so make sure it's really what you want to see. If you do want to see it, until the next time, you know I send my love, utmost respect, saludos to you, all of y'all, doses.